of Irish tunes. So which ones do you learn first if you're starting out? Well, first, it's not really about how many you know and about what you know even. It's also about how you learn it. It's important to learn these tunes with care and to learn them by heart because that's how they're shared and how they're played. The purpose is to know these tunes so you can sit down with other people and play them. So with that in mind, take good care to learn these tunes by heart. Use your ear, learn to sing them. If you learn to sing Happy Birthday, you can then play it on your flutes, right? Or on your fiddles. If you know how something goes, it's easy to figure out how to play it. Got it, learn by ear. But like, which one should I learn? Is there a list? Good question. Of course, there are standard tunes that a lot of people know, like the Connetman's Rambles. That's a jig in D. A lot of us know that tune. But every community has its own favorites. And so, ideally, learn the tunes that are favorited by your community, by people that you actually play with or want to play with. Learn their tunes first. That sounds good, but they play a different set of tunes every week. It might seem like there's not a lot of overlap from week to week, but if you keep showing up, you're going to start to hear some favorites. Take notice of those and learn those. Or ask your friends, which are your favorite jigs to play? Learn those first. Where can I learn these tunes? Is there sheet music? Aha. Uh -huh. So remember, it matters how you learn these tunes and not just how many you know. So you can find sheet music, like at Jeremy Keith's amazing site, thesession.org. You can find loads and loads of transcriptions of tunes. Same thing with YouTube. You can find amazing content and then some stuff that isn't as informed. So you got to be careful where you get your information because quality can vary. So here's how I do my digging to make sure that I'm getting a quality setting. So I'm going to look under irishtune.info. This is a great site made by Alan Eng, and it will give me all the recordings associated with this tune for, let's say, the Connetman's Rambles. Let's see what we got. We've got a Patsy Tui recording. Okay, this is going to probably have a lot more talking on it than music. So this would be a bespoke recording that Patsy Tui made on request, probably. Talk about asking a friend to record a tune for you. So let's see what Patsy Tui has. Patsy Tui has. Might go a little bit farther in history and check out Seamus Ennis playing it on pipes. That would be a setting uh, that would be quite interesting. A couple of neat notes in there that I'd like to incorporate. What about Malloy People's Brady? Might be interesting to hear an accordion's take. Morchin O'Connor playing it. Nice, it's a bit slower. Okay, I've got a list of recordings to check out. Maybe I even own some of those recordings, or maybe I'll find them on YouTube or on Spotify. And I'll listen to all those different performances of the Connetman's Rambles. I'll listen, I'll start to sing along with this tune, I'll figure out kind of how it goes, what the sort of median version of it is, or what a really tasty version that suits me is. Then and only then, I might go to some of my printed collections, maybe to the O'Neill's collection, the O'Neill's Music of Ireland. This is a collection of tunes that Francis O'Neill put together in 1903, older versions of tunes that might be further illuminating. And then I'm going to check out some versions on the session.org. So I'm going to search for Connetman's Rambles right there, pops right up. This jig in D has been recorded 191 times and there are 19 settings. All right, look at this first setting. Do, 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 la, do, do, da. Um, do, do, da, di, do, la, da, do, la, di, do, da, da. I think most of the recordings that I heard do 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 la da do da do do da had a B there, for example. That's a little difference from the recordings that I heard. There were other ways around the tune as well. But this first version looks about like what I was hearing on those recordings. The second setting. Hmm, that doesn't look at all like the settings that I was hearing. I don't think I'm going to learn that version of the tune. And then this third version here 
da 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 Nice, some styly uh, variations, but still, that's not really a Loctite setting to be your first setting. If I just went right to the session.org, um, I might not have had this rich experience of hearing other people's performances, deducing what my own was, already kind of knowing the tune by the time I got to the session.org. Okay, so find a good setting. Find a performance to learn it from and then learn it by ear. Got it. You sure do. But there are a lot of tunes. Yep, there are. So just learn one, then learn another. Build your own session, dude.